my video for February the 14th, 2018 is entitled Video Number 2600 for Valentine's Day. Yes, the issue that concerned me yesterday was cleared up today. There was a misunderstanding, as is often the case. It never ceases to amaze me how easily things can be cleared up when we choose to deal honestly with others. Of course, that is not how the world operates. In the meeting I just returned from, I conversed with a friend I had not seen in many years. He bemoaned the fact that Hillary, a seasoned professional, as he put it, was not elected. While I still have reservations about Trump, he seems to be hated by the globalists. To me, the greatest Valentine gift we can imagine would be if we could actually stop the insanity and communicate honestly. That's a challenge in a mind-controlled society where psychopaths have a very dark agenda. Once again, I have to ask myself, where's the love? Well, my son expressed it well in it, it, the last birthday card he gave to me. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Tom, and happy Valentine's Day, too. I actually went back and dug out the birthday card that he gave me uh, for uh, 10 21 17 for a special dad. You're so caring and so helpful, always doing what you can. You're respected as a father and admired as a man. And so it's only natural while your birthday is here to send the love and gratitude that are yours all through the year. Hope you have an amazing year ahead. Thank you for everything you are. All my love, Tom. <laughs> and I'm giving him a birthday card. So if he watches the video, which he doesn't watch all my videos now, but it says his birthday, son. Happy day. Uh, dear Tommy, remember to never forget to wear clean underpants. You'll always be my little boy. Happy birthday and happy Valentine's Day. Love always, Dad. And that's for February the 14th, 2018. <laughs> so now you get an inside peek at some of the stuff between my son and I. And even though he and I do not agree on some things, I've got to admit that he, when I needed help, he was there for me and he really did uh, help me a lot by providing a place for me to to live when they took my home. And uh, he helped me a lot, uh, even though sometimes he would try to convince me that I was wrong. And, and some of the things that he was trying to convince me, I've come to accept that, you know, maybe, maybe I wasn't seeing things as clearly as, as they really are. Maybe there was some wish, wishful thinking that distorted my perception. Uh, and I've been perhaps guilty of that my whole life because I do want a world that works. I want to see the love, not just talked about on special days like Valentine's Day and Christmas and Easter and other so-called holly, holy days. Um, we need to learn how to communicate with each other. I was really upset over things that had happened before I made the last video, which is why I made a short video and expressed my concerns. But earlier today, the person who uh, was in the middle of the disagreement set the record straight, came and, and came to my apartment and we had a beautiful conversation and it wasn't at all. I mean, I jumped to conclusions, folks. Have you ever done that? I'm sure you have because you're human. We read into things that may not even be there. And when we do that, we could waste our whole lifetime in, in uh, 
with a bad attitude towards some, somebody because it wasn't resolved immediately. Uh, this individual resolved it immediately and put things back on track so that there's no animosity, no hard feelings, nothing. It was just a misunderstanding. Can you imagine living in a world where we actually did that? Of course, as I said in the blurb, it begins with telling the truth. You can't love and be in lying. Lying and love do not go together. Truth and love do. And Valentine's Day is supposed to be a time of love. But we have forgotten how to love so often. And we are the ones that suffer because of it. Somehow, somehow we have to be able to rise above the predicament that we see the world in. No, I don't buy the thing that because the world is just an illusion, albeit a persistent one as this expression goes, just because it's an illusion doesn't mean the experience is not real. Our emotions that we feel, even if they're based on things that are not true, are real emotions and they have an impact on us. It would be good if we could get together and actually lay our cards out on the table and open our minds and open our hearts and be willing to listen and to actually hear what the other person is saying. Now, I couldn't do that in my relatively brief four minute, maybe three or four minute conversation with this gentleman that I mentioned in the blurb. But of course, he's a, he comes from a, a, a community that I had been involved in to some le level in the past, but it's a very liberal-minded community. So of course, he's going to think that Hillary was the answer. And he would probably have been against Bush, even though Hillary and Bush, to me, are on the same team. They weren't different. They just had a different label. That's all. And this guy's not stupid. I mean, he's a smart man, but he can't see. And none of us can see what we either refuse to see or are unwilling to consider. And that's why conversations end up going nowhere. Because we can't listen. I mean, I, there's people I'd love to communicate with, but I can't because it automatically goes into an argument. And I'm not gonna argue with people. That's not loving. That's not a Valentine thing to do. It's okay to be humorous. It's okay to express your honest feelings and even your doubts. But somehow, we have to get beyond the lies and be willing to consider that some of the things that we thought were true aren't. That's a hard thing. It's a challenge for most human beings. It is my sincere wish and desire and prayer that humanity wakes up. I'd like that. That's why I make videos every day, even when I don't feel like it. And I do appreciate those of you that take time to listen and take time to comment. I really do appreciate it. Even, even when you disagree with me, as long as you do it in a kind way, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, block you or anything like that. If you say you disagree and you do it kindly, but if you do it in an argumentative way, that's not an energy that I want to work with because I can't work with it. Even if I would try, and I have tried in the past, it doesn't pan out. It doesn't produce the desired result. Anyway, folks, happy Valentine's Day. Namaste.